Dear colleagues, it gives me great pleasure to present this overview of tissue regeneration for the ITI Online Academy. The outline of this lecture will cover what is tissue regeneration, why is there a need for tissue regeneration, the requirements for tissue regeneration, materials used, uses and techniques, and just briefly towards the end, the outcomes. Tissue regeneration, is simply put, is the reconstruction or the recreation of the tooth supporting structures or the loss supporting structures around teeth and implants. Around teeth, this includes the gingiva, the periodontal ligament, bone and cementum, and around implants, this includes the mucosa and the bone. Around teeth, this is the regeneration is called guided tissue regeneration, and around implants, when preparation for implants, this is guided bone regeneration. The focus of this lecture will be on guided bone regeneration. Why do we need guided bone regeneration? Simply put, the structures that support the teeth are tooth-related. Once the tooth is removed, then these structures are lost, particularly the bone of the socket walls. This is a healed site, just six months post-extraction, and you can see the substantial loss of the ridge thickness um, post-removal uh, of the tooth. Other causes of tissue loss uh, include trauma infection, dehiscence and fenestrations for the bone, thickness of the buccal plate, and extraction technique. This lecture will not talk too much about extraction technique, but we will explore the other three in a little bit more detail. Trauma may result in not only fracture of the tooth, but also fracture of the bony walls of the socket with subsequent loss of the fractured part on removal of the tooth, as you can see in the picture on the left. 